The name of this tune is Beware the Lone Star Tick. Don't ask me why, I can tell you why. I mean, uh, when Killer Bees first came, I heard about them. It bothered me immensely, and my children and friends all know that these things like that kind of get to me. And when I heard about the Lone Star Tick, I found out that that little devil from 150 yards away can come chasing after you. It picks up on body heat and carbon dioxide. And they're fast. And they're ticks. Hence, beware the Lone Star. It's got a little Lone Star on its back. It was bound to happen. If you're outdoors long enough, you'll eventually be bitten by a tick. And this happened to me, oh, a week or so ago. I'm not sure exactly when. A female Lone Star Tick, this is what they look like. They, the females have a white spot on their, on their backs. I didn't notice it. And I noticed there was a little spot right, right about here that was dark and I thought it was just a blood spot I ran into something but it kept getting bigger and bigger and I couldn't pick it off last night. I looked at it closely and there she was. Well the, the first thing to do is to take the tick off with a tick removal tool. Try not to separate its head from its body so that you can get a, a complete extraction. Put that tick uh, in alcohol if you ha have it and you might then freeze it Take it to the doctor and learn what to do next. Each situation may be different. The conclusion was to take an antibiotic that covers the major diseases carried by this tick and then go from there. Uh, if I continue to have problems, the tick will be tested, then I can be tested to see what other steps may need to be taken. But I'm, I'm feeling good. Be careful, guys. Enjoy the woods. Uh, for a while back, I got a tick bite, I actually got several of them, and one of them was carrying a disease, and I'm not sure which one until all the uh, cultures come back, and then I'll find out which one it is. Uh, what happened is one day my muscles hurt real bad, and I thought, well, you know, I'm dehydrated. So I just went ahead and started drinking a little water, and I thought it was fine. The next day I got up and had a 103.7 fever. And I couldn't get it to go down for four days. It kept bouncing between 99 and 101, and I decided to come to the hospital. And after running uh, panels and panels of tests on me, a test, they come to the conclusion that it's a tick-borne illness. So uh, if I figure out more of what it is, I'll let you guys know. Ticks are small arachnids that are common in grassy and wooded areas where they hang out waiting for a host, a, a human being or an animal to walk by, and then they climb onto that person and start looking for a place to suck blood. And it will anchor its mouth parts deep within the skin and start ingesting blood. And they also inject saliva at the same time and excess water from the blood is injected, is, in, is voided back into the host through the salivary glands. And so ticks are very efficient um, transmitters of pathogens such as uh, viruses, bacteria, and protozoa. And as a result, they are known to carry a number of diseases, some of which are deadly. 
Uh, this includes Lyme disease. Lyme disease is now the most common vector-borne disease in the United States. In general, the best way to remove an adult tick is with fine-tipped tweezers. You put the tweezers as close to your skin, the, your skin as possible and gently pull. You don't want to leave any of the mouth parts left, nor do you want to agitate the tick so much that it regurgitates fluids into your body, and that will increase the chance of disease being spread. There are also proprietary tick removal tools. Now, it's been two years since my friend Bob Knight was bitten by a tick. He's recovered nicely, but uh, let's give him a call and see what he says about these little creepy crawlers. Wh what happened? Did, did you know that that you had a tick bite? Did you pull it off? How did you pull it off? Uh, yes, I did have a tick bite, and I went ahead and pulled it off some tick tweezers I got. And knowingly to me, the lone star tick is it's a bite you, you get the disease from it. And it's called the eticulitis, and basically the symptoms are is you get a fever within three days of 101 and 102, and it will not go down. After that, then it starts shedding your liver and kidneys down to your urine turns to a tea color. Uh, it didn't leave the red bullseye or a red mark such as uh, Lyme's disease does. It pretty much cleaned my system up and I was not normal. But okay. I had to spend four days in the hospital. Okay, well that, that really is serious and I know there, there are many, many serious diseases with ticks. What is your advice to people who are going out and want to prevent getting ticks? What would you my do? My best advice is always prepare. I use Pertinium on my clothing. Uh -huh. I make sure you follow the directions. I spray that on there. I spray it on my socks, pants, and shirt. Uh, when I go out, I use uh, deep puts off, 40% deep oil based spray around my uh, shoes. And there's socks on my ankle. And I use regular off dry to spray around my waistline and on my cat. And then when I get to the campsite, I also crop dust the area with the uh, If you're wondering that I'm going to stop going back out in the woods because of this, no. Nah. It was bound to happen, and to be honest with you, I always figured I was going to get bit by a darn snake. It's <laughs> not uh, put down by a tick, but, you know, it happens, so. You know, I'm seeing this uh, debris shelter that I slept in a few months ago, and I'm, I'm wondering, it would, it, I'm not sure it's safe this time of year to be sleeping in a debris shelter on the ground. I know I did that in the I winter. Would not. 